Welcome, welcome very, very much to Conversation. Pleasure to welcome the program. Paula Gloria, fellow producer here. She's doing wonderful work recently and one of, uh, on a number of interrelated issues, one of the major ones of which is dealing with the economic order and the mortgage questions. And uh, wonderful program you've done recently with Randolph, uh, uh, Randolph Corbett, who made join us on this program and also with Mr. Raja who is a uh, forensic and examiner of understanding what actually took place oh back in 2008 and that a major program that could bring real focus on the overall financial system of the world in right. a way that could help benefit everyone and stave off a terrible uh, a, a calamitous uh, uh, falling apart of the world financial system. All of that she's doing uh, on a cutting edge way. And Paula, so welcome, so wonderful to welcome you to the program on the 29th of uh, December here at the last ending of uh, 2011. Harold, it's it's uh, it's an honor to be here because you had said many years ago that the real change that society needs would come from community television, public television, where the public really can express free speech. Well, and, yeah. And, uh, you know, I real sa changes sadly, of, after mm. I just finished editing that show and was struggling to get it up. The one, the three-hour one. Yeah, yeah, and YouTube had knocked me down from unlimited uh, time after four years yeah. to only 15 minutes, yeah. purportedly for copyright issues, of which I have none. Uh -huh. But that came from Rob Ryder, uh, which is a process where you can kind of keep the property from hanging out on the line which with a marketable deed. I, I, marketable deeds, well, I, unfortunately, I could never get you and Maggie to watch it. No. But it was a very, very important piece of information in my process. To you mean the fact that on. your thing on YouTube had changed because of Mr. Ryder? It, it, he had lodged it, it, it a could complaint? Be a, it could be a coincidence. Oh, I, I oh. could be reading something into it that isn't there. Oh, okay, but yeah. Uh, there was no amount of time on the telephone that I called Google that I could talk to any human being. Yeah. I couldn't understand why it would say uh, that my account wasn't in good standing mm. and then it was in good standing. You, uh -huh. you would click around. It, and it got around it. back to good standing. Good standing, but only oh. 15 minutes. Well, I can't. I can't. I can't post long ones. So I, don't I had my father's you. old director's account, so I post on my father's. Mm -hmm. And I post shorter ones. I did a sh short trailer with that Raja one mm -hmm. because I had the lady from the food pantry up in Woodstock. Mm -hmm. Because, um, as you know, you yeah. know, you know, you, yeah. you yeah, and Maggie yeah, yeah. are the She's most. She's a wonderful person. You had her here, uh, you know, at Christmas time. Yeah. Yeah, I, the I was sitting I, there. Ra fa farther down the rabbit yeah. hole. Yeah, I, I was up there in Woodstock, and we were getting our food, yeah. you know, for the next three days. Yeah. And I was, you know, feeling kind of gloomy, and yeah. it's come to all this. Yeah. But I noticed that in your lowest moments, if you keep kind of attentive to what's happening, there's always something uh, that. There's some opportunity that you're not quite seeing, and I think the opportunity was to connect with Thurman uh -huh. Greco, who turns out was a Reiki healer and doing a lot of the things I was doing. Uh -huh. Even has a public access show up, uh -huh. in, up in Woodstock. Oh, good! They got a thing going up there. Good. Yeah. Yeah. And she uh -huh. said, as far as enlightenment's concerned, mm -hmm. working in the food pantry was mm -hmm. one of the most enlightening experiences. And she was riveted to Raja because I said, "Look, at, I'm going to be shooting all day." This uh -huh. man's coming up from Virginia. This is last Saturday. Forensic. You did shoot all day. Yeah, yeah I told Thurman, I said, mm. look, at, here's the deal. I'd like people to know about the food pantry. I'd like people to know this is where I eat. Mm -hmm. We're public access producers. Uh -huh. Times are really hard. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not sure how m and is continuing on. You know, I would have to do more investigations into what makes m and m tick. But the, I think they're in very good shape now. I mean, right. the franchise been agreed. But, but but the producers are in terrible shape. Well, terrible the people, shape. the people are, and probably a lot. Most of the producers that are in are probably not of the wealthy class. There might be a few, but by and large, it's the people that are not well advantaged. The people are being disadvantaged by the trend in the world economy. Would that, as always, would, would is that the case. would that be because if you're benefiting from the status quo, you don't want to rock the boat and complain? Oh, I think there's a lot. There's a legacy of uh, uh, accumulated wealth and cushion and privilege and all of that because the system of the world has never been just in terms of the poor. 
it's always I mean the wisdom schools would say take advantage take care of the least among you but they ignore it the political and it all serves the rich and powerful so there's a there's a there's a tendency to reify the institutions to give power and you know obedience to the those who are already rich and powerful. Well, when you're saying the wisdom schools, are you sort of acknowledging that there's a tradition of understanding which laws work and which don't, and that as civilization advances, you cast aside what doesn't work and you embrace what does? Well, no, I wouldn't say so. I would. I, I mean, I would take a different take on it. I think the only thing, uh, the wisdom schools are things like Buddha, Jesus, uh, the Lao Tzu, the spiritual things, and the people that are concerned with those kind of issues, and those kind of things have well, that, always been in well, a second place they, they, they vary uh, sometimes they have some saying but by and large they've been uh, superseded by the political and the economic I, I remember once when somebody was talking about the concept of the Messiah yeah. I thought that might be the man that can take the ultimate amount of pressure or heat for the sake of the people could you find somebody who's so powerful that he can actually do things, but will do things for the benefit of the people, well, not for selfish reasons. Well, that's true, but I, uh, yeah. The, or, the, or would you have law itself, that you don't need a, a superman to do this, but that if you just follow law, the wisdom within law, just just like principles, like why you'd study science, well, to, you're, you're, to understand the behavior of matter, then you find laws and you start to assemble a way to approach reality so that you can interact with reality and get the most out of it. Yeah. I got the most out of a bust recently. You got bust, you got manhandled, I think. I got, I got, I got and manhandled, all that? it was very traumatic. The worst trauma is though is how it affected Joe uh -huh. to watch the policeman slamming me on the hood. Yeah, right. I mean, when he, when he he pulled us aside because we had a missing That's a uh, metaphor for light. people of good conscience watching other people, weaker people being beaten even in slavery and so forth, and you have to stand by while the people are being beaten and abused. Right. It's a thing that and it tugs at the... And yeah, you're handcuffed, Well, if you you're handcuffed, then you can't, but, it, uh, but a lot of people wouldn't be getting into that kind of a thing because they're busy looking out for their I own I mean, they, they even said I was resisting arrest or resisting being thrown into the car. By the mm. time I was thrown into the back seat of the, oh, police, the police car, car. Joe was already there handcuffed. <coughs> And I <coughs> certainly wanted to be next to him. Yeah. I didn't see why I had to be thrown in like a sack of potatoes where yeah. my head net knocks yeah. his head because yeah. we're both sitting there like that yeah. saying, well, happy first wedding anniversary, yeah. honey. Yeah, that's right. You always got, <laughs> couldn't believe it. So your wedding anniversary at St. Mark's Church. And, it my seems 60th, only yesterday. and my 60th birthday. All right. And the, and yeah. the solstice happened mm. at 1230 mm -hmm. at midnight after midnight. Mm. And by 1.30... The cop pulled us over, mm. and then Joe had gone out mm -hmm. to sort of deal with it, I guess. Mm. And then I had my tape recorder and leaned over to the driver's side mm -hmm. to put my tape recorder out to tape anything that happened. And then he came back and said, get out of the car. And I said, am I under arrest? Get out of the car. And then I started to do my um, Marshall Rosenberg nonviolent non communication, communication, which is w yeah. when in doubt, find out what you're feeling uh -huh. and express it. Yeah, right. But it takes a really strong person to handle feelings. Mm -hmm. And I've always dealt with strong people like you and Maggie. We, we deal with all of this foreclosure crisis and, mm -hmm. and stuff going on in the courts. Mm -hmm. It's really intense. And so when, when, when people go through all those processes together, you kind of are battle buddies. You, you kind of know what each other's limits are. Well, I suppose So people. I didn't know that this police officer would have a very small limit mm -hmm. for human feeling. And, and, and I want to also say out to everybody that I have absolutely nothing against the police. Mm -hmm. Nothing. I have no childhood trauma. I come, like you're talking about privilege, I now mm -hmm. see when people used to tell me around MNN, you know, white girl, mm. you don't have a clue. Yeah, yeah it's and, true. I, and I wanted to have a clue, and I said, well, teach me. You know, I want to have a clue. I want to know what's going on. And they, you know, they couldn't. Now I know why. I, I know by how I was treated. It's, it's, it was horrible. Yeah, it's very but racial. It's, it's, and it's, it's not a, that I shouldn't be treated that way. Mm -hmm. Nobody should be treated yeah. that way. But until you're treated that way, you really don't understand There'll what's going on. There'll be more and more people being treated that way if the economy continues to melt For down. sure, and that's yeah. why I want to say and I have And then they'll nothing, get more desperate. The, I, I, the powers that be for uh, reifying the outdated institutions will become more and more uh, ruthless. Well, you know who's really going to suffer through this? Is the, the poor, the, as always they is do. Is the policeman. Well, 
well. Because the policeman has a job to do. Hmm. And you could see that when I told this policeman, I'm afraid of you, I don't know who you are. He, he went wild. I didn't know that's what made him wild until we got back into the station and he was booking me, because even though his back was towards me, the system. when he starts typing out, he start, uh, he's practically shaking, even when I'm looking at him from the back. He uh -huh. goes, you said you were afraid of me and you didn't know who I was. Well, isn't it obvious who I am? And, and it's not like, it's like I really, really affected him on a deep level for uh -huh. him to have lost it that mm -hmm. badly. Mm -hmm. And that's why when he, he handcuffed me and said that I was resisting a policeman doing his work, uh, it was because of that comment. And, 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 and it was a deep comment. When I said, I don't know who you are, mm -hmm. I'm starting to study where the money flows and mm -hmm. who's actually paying the policemen. Right. The policemen are not paid by our government. Mm -hmm. And that's a pretty scary thing for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. They give lip service to an oath that they take to uphold the Constitution. But if they're upholding the Constitution, then they're working on behalf of protecting the public. And I was throwing it right in his face. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel protected. Mm -hmm. I felt terrorized. Because if you think about it, it's mm -hmm. common highway robbery. Mm -hmm. They took all our money. They took us down to the station. They, they bring dogs through the car. Mm -hmm. They find a, a little small less than half an ounce of pot mm -hmm. and they found some oil which I'm taking for a lump in my breast mm -hmm. and and they didn't know what the oil was and you could see that the dogs as they moved through the dogs weren't picking up on it mm -hmm. and and at the station it must have taken them a long time to realize it was a felony mm -hmm. when he realized it was a felony he came back in almost gleefully saying that now they can put shackles on us uh -huh. but the shackles started to get on Joe but then they got off of him and all I can what think, do you mean they were they did Put them and then they put them, them on off? Joe, and yeah. then they said there wasn't two. And since I actually got two misdemeanors and a felony, mm -hmm. whereas Joe got a misdemeanor and a felony, felony I should have been the worst. Yeah. Yeah. It's if you read a description of what a felon is, it's a, for heinous crimes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, if you just go back to dictionaries, yeah. you can learn so much from legal dictionaries. Yeah. Even proprietary lease well, that's comes on the into wet, another on realm. Yeah, Black's yeah. Fifth Law Dictionary. It, <coughs> uh, it almost invalidates two words, lease and proprietary. How can you both be a, an owner and a renter? Mm -hmm. But they say used in co-ops. It's actually in Black's Fifth dictionary. Mm -hmm. So it, it's almost like they start to make language morph into meaning different things. Yeah. So I'm thinking the, the one reason I'm um, rather protective of the police is I think they're being given an impossible uh, job. How can you say that it's legal to search on the smell of marijuana but have somebody give up consent for the concert, for the search. Otherwise, how can you arrest them when you're only supposed to arrest somebody who's threatening the well-being of the public? Well, if the these public are all welfare is threatened, then and, and then only can you arrest someone. Uh -huh. Otherwise, you have to go back to a judge and get a warrant. Mm -hmm. That's the importance of warrants, so well, that you don't have a society that's run by the police. Yeah, you notice across the street from where we taped the John Jay uh, College of Criminal Justice has expanded widely. I know. So then it gets I to know. be where there will be more and more questions, and particularly it seems to be a lot of the dissension is, uh, if you could trace it, I think in lot, uh, taking away the veils of all the uh, the language and the institutions that can reify certain situations societally, economically, and so forth. It, it's it's coming down to um, uh, the the, the well-to-do or the comfortable protecting their position against the mass of the people who are not, and that serves for the whole world. And you do not have a system that's right. anything like elementally just. Right. So you have to have institutions that are going to protect those who are right. well-to-do or manage to get a leg up. And right. that's the that's the, the problem, and, particularly and when you come up against something like so, we're coming up against now on the world so scale. So a policeman would be able to tell if, if I was in a really nice car, if I was in my dad's car or something like that. Well, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't have done that to me. No, no, it doesn't happen. It, it's uh, up in Harlem, it's stop and frisk all the time. And I know. It's just, it's, it's just complete. It's, somebody said the war on drugs is, uh, is Jim Crow all over again. Because it's but, directed but, at the minority but, groups and the disadvantaged, but, and those tend to be yeah, racial but, but and Latino. All, but so they're forth. but they're all glossing over the libertarians do it too they're missing some very fundamental points and that is that arrest 
is something that should be used very, very judiciously. Well, what are the you don't arrest somebody unless you see that there's harm that's going to be created by not arresting. Well, that would be one of the fine points of the criminal justice people, Clarence Dar, or somebody could try and fight that. But one of our friends, he may be coming in, Mr. Uh, Corbett, a great guy, who, who Josh along, Walensky who along with, with the uh, Josh Walensky, what? Josh Walensky hooked me up with Randy. Great, and it, Josh Walensky is the greatest net, networker I know. He can every he stuff is. with every. Anyway, he 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 said vis-a-vis. -vis. That's really something. I guess that's working its way upstate on the, this issue of you being like that. But it happens, and what happens is that um, they they uh, they become oppressive, and they become where the niceties of that can try to be worked out. But uh, like Randolph said, down in Florida on the, on the foreclosure thing where it's going massively like that. And they had to bring in extra judges and all these retirement. niceties. You can, ir you can I argue all the niceties of the law and that this is this and that is that. And the judges just were coming in, boom, foreclosed. Forget any of your niceties, any of your thought about the law. And that's where it'll go uh, if, uh, if the system gets into a point where it's really uh, threatened. And it works always to the disadvantage of those who have been disadvantaged all along. And that's what happens. See, I used to wonder why were my locks changed when I was in India back in 2004. They as were changed here as, in New York, yeah. As soon as they got wind that I was under financial duress. Yeah. Uh, prior to that, I used to be late on my payments just because I was lazy to write out checks and I had plenty of money and yeah. I wrote $70 late fees, no big deal. Yeah. This time, I come back from India and I get a summons to go to court. Mm -hmm. And I thought, this is outrageous. Mm -hmm. How are they using scary court threats? Uh -huh. So I went to court. Mm -hmm. Prior to that, I just would have paid it. Mm -hmm. But I was, I was also outraged that they put They may have gotten more than they bargained with, with Hurricane Gloria. <laughs> And Paula, Gloria. Well, when I yeah. first, when the when the board first looked at my portfolio, they thought, "Great, five million dollars. This yeah. is good." Yeah. And I thought they wouldn't accept me because I because my husband yeah. had just left me, yeah, and, I, right. and it looked like divorce was looming. Yeah. So I thought, well, maybe New York co-ops don't like that. I mean, what did I know? I had been in Europe. Mm -hmm. I was uh, living high on my cellular money. I mm -hmm. was getting $16 grapefruits for room service mm -hmm. in Swiss hotels. Yeah. So I didn't think too much about the maintenance. Yeah. Yeah. Although I do remember that uh, Vincent DeVito, when I was sitting with the board president, and I slightly commented on it, he I started, don't know who Vincent is. He's the head of, he's the president of the board. Of the, the co-op that you're in. Of the co-op. Yeah. It's just yeah. something, it's something that's a different reaction. You don't know why, but you park it in the back of your brain. Yeah, right, right, right. So he had made some kind of apology for the, uh, for the maintenance being so high. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's And my going comment over, was, yeah. I was just commenting, you know. Yeah. And it was kind of like, I remember buying uh, an 87 Mercedes. Yeah. And this... I bought it around 91 mm -hmm. when I had my money. Yeah. And it was $25,000. Wow, and it, yeah. and it looked almost like a $100,000 one. Yeah. It was that the year was changing. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And so I was sitting in the back seat of the car and I go, "Well, why is this $25,000?" And the guy goes, "Oh, well, we could make it less." Uh -huh. And that and that's not why I was asking that. Uh -huh. So it's the way I brought yeah, up the maintenance and uh -huh. how the board president responded to me. Yeah. I thought, "Well, that's a funny response." Well, they've got all things going in their own head. And a lot of people feel under duress even though they seem to be or have been in the cat bird seat as they call it. But a lot of well, people are getting worried because uh, structural structural inconsistencies within the system are starting to come to the surface on a big time way that right. is questioning the legitimacy right. of the position of some of right. our major financial institutions. Well, Correct? Here's, here's the exciting part. Those structural problems that are mm. coming to light are mm. coming to light through public access. Well, By Josh uh, turning some. me on to Randy yeah. and sitting with Randy and Raja, I got a whole nother education because Randy told me that th the mortgages for the poor were planned for foreclosure. Yeah. I'm certain that for the co-ops on Park Avenue, because Gloria Messer explained it to me mm -hmm. once, that they were only letting people into the co-ops if they were for sure not going to have financial problems. Yeah, it's so a, they would it's hide it that way. It's an upscale kind of thing. It's called gentrification, and you but want to get the big bankers the who are scam. getting all the money. But it's the same Yeah, it, and it's a system where the money all goes to the top, and the society goes that way. And right. That's what we're going through now. Right. And it's been done in a way that has violated, uh, and according to a lot of people, as you're bringing up, Raja and other people, is that there are 
uh, inconsistencies and mistakes made by them. The bank will insist that you have all your papers perfectly in order, every jot and tilde, but they can make huge mistakes that do not give them a position in terms of understood, common understanding of the law and so forth, and they're trying to get around the, di the consequences of the fact that they have put themselves where they do not have in many cases, in a major way, with hundreds of thousands of people and situations involved, a, what would be called in a legal system a position or standing in order to make the assertion of their claims to uh, foreclose or even say to people they have to pay money because they've lost things that, and they've made a mistake and they're trying to foist it off on the public. They're trying to, they're trying to, to well, trying to, they're trying to, um, Public, uh, uh, Who's they? The banks the, or the, the government? System. The system the banks is trying the system. to um, privatize profits and socialize, or through the governmental systems, risk. And their risk models and their risk institutions are, are what has been violated. And that's a major qu It questions the validity and the assumptions of the system writ large, not only nationally but on a world scale. So would you say when you were explaining derivatives to me before and reinsuring, then do you reinsure the reinsurers and then reinsure the reinsurers who are reinsuring the reinsurers? In other words, if you keep bringing money into a policy well, what you do have is a shell, then only one of them has it under. Well, that's what's happened. It got concentrated, and he talked about how they would... Uh, Except there's 30 of them, and the, well, sometimes there's 40. Well, that could be called leveraging and they would leverage it out and everything and then they would be betting on the failure. But they wouldn't give triple A rating. Well, unless you, you, gotta, unless you have rating. unless you have a collusion among the people at the top, including the legal system right. and the rating systems okay. and the banks, and they're all in so, one category where they're doing very, very well, so making trillions remedy. of dollars. So here's the remedy. Yeah. And this is why I want to say well, I like the police. I'm, I don't have a problem with the police. Mm -hmm. The police, I feel, can be a very important aspect of the solution. You're talking about the regular police on the, the beat, how I or are you busted. talking about the I, legal about system? About how I got busted. Yeah, but are you talking? about the police on the beat or are you talking about the legal system? How I got busted will be the police on the beat. Okay. The human beings that pulled me out of the car. Yeah, you got a brief against me. them. You don't have a grief against the system itself? I don't even have a grief against the person. Okay, well you're a Rosenberg guy well, too. Well, yeah, yeah no, yeah, I, I yeah. mean, when I told him I'm afraid of you, mm -hmm. I remember Well, you weigh 100 pounds, and he weighs yeah. 200, and he's strong and oh, muscular. And, yeah, and he, Who wouldn't yeah. be afraid of a big brown bear bearing down Well, sometimes I go, you know, yeah. I, I just get into my uh, position, and I don't see anything. I mean, yeah. I've, I've separated German shepherds fighting if if because I was afraid that the dog I was supposed to take care of might get torn up, and mm -hmm. I'd get in trouble. Mm -hmm. So all I see is this dog must survive and I just go in there and, <laughs> right. and just do it. Yeah, that's a, so, that's a reaction. That's so, the the same, media, yeah. so the same way is I wanted to make sure I was going through proper procedure because uh -huh. trust me, false arrest and imprisonment is, is the kingpin of a free society. Uh, it's wait, not wait, just wait a, a fine detail. You mean the ability to bring false arrest charges is a kingpin of it? Are they broad? Well, let's look at it this way. With psychoanalysis, you don't touch a yeah. person. You don't touch a person. They lie on the sofa. They free associate. All the feelings comes up, the ideas, the thoughts. And then a skilled psychoanalyst might wait 10 years for an opportunity to make an intervention that, that will start to create a healing effect. Woody Allen in had this, a movie where he had been doing it 16 years in Annie Hall. 16 years on the couch, and he still had all of his neuroses and psychoses. Anyway, go ahead. That's a well, long time. Well, I don't know if Woody Allen was like uh, schizophrenic, but, but Hyman Spotnitz was able to take a patient who wasn't even aware of anyone else in the room except mm. them. Mm -hmm. Their narcissism is so developed. Yeah. They're, they're so internalized. Yeah. And the fact that a great hero like him could stand being hated, which that's what he felt Sigmund Freud felt that these people were unsuitable for psychoanalysis uh -huh. because they weren't aware of the presence of anyone other than themselves. A, a deep narcissism. And so yeah. that, that separation that should take place when the baby realizes he's not at one with yeah. his mother and the yeah. food supply isn't coming yeah. and he hollers and screams, it's him and the bad breast or the good breast, depending yeah. on how yeah. it's... All of these but but he's, yeah. he's, he's creating an ego. Yeah. So this intervention had I known that this policeman couldn't handle particularly feminine energy, because uh -huh. he would have had an easier time dealing with Joe and uh -huh. Joe with him just on a physical thing. Yeah. But, but what I was bringing up is I was questioning who he was 
And I was saying I was afraid of him. So if I'm afraid, how can he feel like the great protector that he should feel he is? He should feel he's protecting society. He's keeping the roads safe. Not that he's the first step of highway robbery, because if I was thrown like a sack of potatoes into the back seat and clunked my head against Joe's, by dawn, after we were finished with this process, we were thrown out like an empty sack of potatoes on the highway. They don't even take you home. Like Lawrence of Arabia? And they, and they take all your money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's, it's yeah. crazy. I mean, yeah. Well, that's, I, what, that's what Randolph said down in Florida. They, they, take, they steal the... It's, it's, it's just a rape, a pillage. It's pillaging yeah. is what now, it is. Now, and uh, I think people who do that get inert. Now, I, to those feelings you're but trying I to think, talk about. I think they were... No, they the, think they're doing the, the work of the uh, uh, protecting society, you know, I, I, or they rationalize I'm it. sure he thinks he is. Yeah. And I'm sure he thinks that if the Supreme Court says the smell of marijuana is enough to search, then he thinks there should be a way to do it. But legally, there's not. Mm -hmm. How can you arrest a person if they haven't harmed anyone? Well, what they do is if they, they say, I don't want to hear anyone. all your things. Do you have no lawyer? You have no, people that are down and out have no uh, way to, uh, to attack. They can't get a big high-priced lawyer or any of that. And then Thank the lawyers they can't. Thank and goodness the system. they can't. The high-priced lawyer is going to add to the problem. Right, because they're in cahoots. Absolutely. And the system is in the, to favor the advantage of those who are wealthy and but, powerful. But I want to get to the remedies. Yeah. There well, really are remedies. Okay. In, in I this, hope so. In this, there might in be. this case, it wasn't possible for me to interact with this That's policeman. called, if I may, let's say in geopolitics, that's called realpolitik. Mao said, whoever's got the gun, power, comes, power, the ability to assert authority comes out of a gun. Whoever's got the gun has the power, and then they can do what they want. Second Amendment. And that's Amendment. what happens. That's why we have the Second Amendment. Well, no, but and it's I think a larger New Yorkers issue in terms naive. of societal. Uh, Realpolitik still rules. It's still power, and that includes all the manipulation of consciousness and the ability to use everything. But the power rules Absolutely. to the benefit of those, as always it has, the few who are running things and their minions. Okay. And it's very hard for somebody to understand something In if their salary depends on them not understanding it. And they're all wage slaves. It's a system that if is their oppressive. their salary is... Made, and always has been. Okay, so now here's what I'm going to say. Okay. The intervention came later on in the evening. Joe said they, there must have been something wrong with the tapes, otherwise they would have separated us. I don't... Oh, the tape but on they, your hand? I don't understand. What tape? I was recording it, okay. and the police officer said, I'm recording it too. Oh, that there's oh. both a tape recorder mm. and a camera. Mm -hmm. So the camera should be able to show me being slammed on the hood of the of the car, mm -hmm. which so upset Joe because you yes, know, of when, course when it would. When they put him on you, they put him on really tight, and he really, he really. Uh, yeah, painful. I know they'll rough you really, up. It was really painful. They do. It was stop and search. It's yeah. in Harlem all the time. It's the rigor. Well, right. we got white skin, and you don't. You know, it doesn't happen. But there. I'm not here to say I'm a victim. Okay. I'm not here to complain. Well, okay. I'm here to say I like the Corbett police. Corbett will say he's a victim. I'm. I'm. I'm here to a say a fraud, mortgage fraud. Okay, if you say fraud, you better be prepared and for the judge to have a lot of proof. Yeah. To have proof. That's yeah, why Raja word. goes with twenty documents, each, the each certified yeah. by the uh, Securities Exchange Commission, mm -hmm. which must have cost him a pretty penny. Yeah. Each one of those, you know, tomes, there's mm -hmm. 20 of them to a box, yeah, and he I has know. 20, 20 boxes. 20 boxes, I know. So yeah. he's going to go with all 20 boxes to court when the day comes, mm -hmm. and he knows how to access all of that to prove it's good people do to know prove how to that get his to half it. a million dollar loan produced 92 million mm -hmm. so by the end of the evening when Joe's explaining this to the good cop mm -hmm. you know he was a nice guy to us and the day made, of your bus the day of my bus yeah at the yeah. police station yeah uh -huh. so um, Joe's starting to tell yeah. him he said Joe's your husband he's saying Joe yeah, Barton yeah, yeah, yeah. Barton, yeah. yeah. Who Eminem won't let be here, by the no, way. No, he's going to be very sad by next about week. that. Yeah, but, that's uh, a thing. That's know. a bureaucratic thing that has to be worked out. I go think ahead. it's more than bureaucracy, but okay, you know, well, be that as it may. Well, we can go into that. If, Maybe the producers should have more say. What I'm saying is, say. when people say it's just or, bureaucracy, yeah. you don't get to the human beings that can change it. I'm right. telling you, these policemen now have to evict people. They have yes. to put out crying children, That's right. huddling, you know, mothers and That's right. on, on the street. Because it's the law. They see it. It's the law. They're yeah, seeing right. this. And they're, and they're beginning somebody, to realize and something their salaries, isn't right. And something the, isn't well, right. Well, perhaps so. Or they have to become a nerd. Or wh how do you do it? How do you get somebody who is uh, minding the ovens at Auschwitz for shoveling Jews into an oven 
to somehow make their peace with that kind of thing going on, or just j injustice, or per, you know that. And and how do you get people to adjust to an unjust situation that they're forced to do if they want to eat and survive? That's why it's I wanted, survival that's of the why fittest, the strongest, and the most brutal. And that's what happens, and that's what it can degenerate into when you don't have a system that's elementally just in its structure, structurally not elementally but I'm just. But I'm saying you're without not, an interpretation saying, of one of the laws. I'm saying you're not going to get to that system until mm -hmm. the individuals become strong and realize within themselves there is a right and a wrong. The judge. Well, that's to the be judge, philosophically discussed. Harold, don't great lose length. me on. Don't no, lose me okay, on this one. Yeah, okay, yeah. The judge couldn't look us in the eyes. Uh -huh. It was shameful. Uh -huh. There's a 65-year-old Vietnam it. veteran, yeah. and there's me, 60 years old. Uh -huh. What did we do to hurt anyone? The judge uh -huh. knows this. I uh -huh. kept mumbling. I said, I don't even know why I'm here. And he sort of goes, well, because you were arrested. Mm. Now Joe says, don't rock the boat. Don't make any waves. This is just here for setting bail. Uh -huh. They could have set a big bail on yeah. Joe. They let you but go they on your didn't. cognizance. Right? They didn't. Yeah. And it could have been that the good cop put in a nice word, say, hey, it's their wedding night, mm -hmm. and it's her birthday, mm -hmm. she's 60 today. Mm -hmm. But you could see as Happy time birthday. went on yeah. uh -huh. that I, yeah, Joe yeah. and I so the human humanity harmed can no through. one. Yeah, right. We harmed no one. Well, there's a whole thing with the marijuana has never the harmed marijuana, anyone that I know The marijuana, I mean, if, if it's I... It's a political thing. If I was sure I would be in a constitutional court where mm -hmm. I got due process, yeah, but you can't I would be sure. love to be in court with yeah. a trial and a jury yeah, and you, say, you can't get how that. can there be both a patent on this oil that they say is a felony for me to have mm -hmm. and at the same time and the patent explains all the wonderful benefits how can that patent be there and exist at the same time as you have a schedule one that says it's the most dangerous substance well that's therefore if I'm in a participant in this United States of America out of the District of Columbia uh -huh. domiciled in 10 square miles mm -hmm. with only three electoral votes yeah that's true how how can I I think that where I have only the liability of going to jail with mm. none of the benefit. If the uh, U.S. government yeah. has the patent, mm. but if I say there's a cancer cure, they'll say, oh, we patented the word cancer. Mm -hmm. You can't say there's a cure well, for that's cancer protecting because we own the word. Well, that's protecting and the means of utilizing the law with all the uh, ability endless money and everything to influence the system to and, benefit a particular endless, business called the uh, endless, pharma, from Big Pharma. And endless suffering. Yeah, yeah, the suffering. suffering yeah, the but suffering that, of cancer profit. patients is tremendous. But they can't have something And it's come, so predictable. You, yeah. you, they, they take poison. I could take the poison today and suffer just as much well, as Well, you can are. say that, but still, that's the law until it's changed, I'll say, and you get a, a, a Well, let's Alexa, take a look at that. And they're pouring let's billions of dollars at, at K Street let's and Let's so take a forth. look at that. Is that yeah. really? And they, and they buy the policy. Is that, are you really going to follow that law when your loved one is suffering that much? Well, they. What's more lawful? That might be legal. Well, I think but you're onto something. Uh, Paula, I'm sorry. Maybe I, I it's think an you're honor. really on. I think you're really onto something because that's emerging. The the, the marijuana. The, that's emerging as something that the whole society is just blinking at. But what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is this reality was emerging in but the police station. But this other thing about the police station. Yeah. Human beings were waking yeah. up. Mm. Joe said to the last cop, he said, "Your retirement will not be in existence mm. anymore." So these well, guys are thinking. Well, he's talking now about the meltdown of the economy. It's the same or, problem, and yeah. that's. That's why I was hoping Randy would come by this yeah, time. Yeah, he may not, but if, if he, he does, if he he's a good guy. If he and he's doesn't get here with in Roger. time, I'll now explain to you the securitization of indictments. Mm -hmm. That every time a person's indicted, okay. that indictment has a QCIP number put into what it. What is a QCIP number? A QCIP, I don't think one people of, know One of that. your QCIP numbers is... No, what does QCIP mean? It's a way to trade, to track financial instruments. Okay, it's important. An yeah. indexing system. It's, it's an, an indexing yes, system. Yes. It's what an does QCIP stand for? Is it I an forgot. acronym? Okay, I forgot. okay, okay, okay. So this number then is put, everybody has, I think they have at least one, possibly three QCIP numbers. One of them you find on a social security card. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure where the other ones are. Raja will explain it. Yeah. But I had this intuition and yeah. I said, I called him up, and he's a busy man. He's sleeping yes, of three hours a night, and somebody complained that they gave him $750, and he didn't come up with the analysis. And I'm going, oh, my God, you should see what lawyers charge me $18,000 yeah. for. Yeah. When Chase came in and yeah. paid it in housing court, 
Yeah, that's another and thing. They're trying giving, to project their position, yeah. This guy's giving something uh, real, so... When they may not have a position. That's a big issue. They destroyed their position well, because it was evidence of fraud. Well, okay, that's one trouble. And you, you were right in saying you don't use that word loosely. Oh, because yeah, yeah, it's, you, you won't, it's not you have acceptable. To have a, you can't just say, I'm not paying yeah, because of fraud. Yeah, yeah, you, you have, have, have to have know have, every single detail. Yeah, you have to have it all done. And I think it, you That's have, called a forensic looking. And th thanks God, because the QCIP thing and the it, Social Security, we do have a system where we're able to use information and track the algorithms that can do wondrous things in terms of bringing benefit to the human society. You have to have a system that can work and keep track of things, and that's very important that it not be tampered with, right? Right, but uh -huh. it, it might be legal mm -hmm. in a limited sense, but Randy showed me it wasn't even legal because okay. he said there is no proper uh, proper procedure to rob a bank. But that's the way he put so it. You're trying to find a legal explanation yeah. for what is essentially bank robbery, and you're talking about the big banks. And yeah, you're and, talking and about what of, happened with the mortgage. Being, and it's also kind of being a lame person from privilege. Mm -hmm. I would always buy all the explanations. Mm -hmm. But now, well, one would now want it was, to try and understand things. Now don't it was you? being thrown in my face. The, the critical thinking would want you to try and understand what's going on, but then it gets so Byzantine and it gets so uh, belabored in language and so forth. And so, it's, it's, uh, uh, what's it? It's uh, worse than that, Harold. Yeah. It's it, not belabored in language. Well, uh, you, uh, the citizen it's, it's, can't it's understand. It's the veils it. come off, and yeah. you realize you'd been defrauded. No, no, you, that's one point. But what you say, the people who are manipulating the defrauding, they will be able to uh, justify it in some sort of economic theoretical terms, or something like that, or political. It becomes political unless there's something people will do not for money. Well, there's not and very much. And this has to come from a place where there is no little, money. It seems to me if you look at world society in terms of uh, anything, particularly if you put in front of it practical, the only thing that matters to anybody uh, in any position, I mean, forget love, forget mother love, forget beauty, forget justice, forget all those terms that relate to the wisdom schools and so forth. The only thing that money, the only thing that matters, realpolitik, is money. That's the only thing. Nothing else matters. Everything else is subservient to that. A woman may have a moment with her teenage daughter who's going through an emotional crisis or something, and it, she should be relating in a human terms or in a loving way or something, and she has to go out and pick up papers because they say she has to go out and earn her living to make money. Money, money, money. They have a thing on there with great works of art. Do you ever see that in you public know why television? They do that? They have a great work of art, Duncan Fife or something, and it's so wonderful and it's so great, and the one thing that really matters is how much is it worth. That's what comes up at the end. That's the big, the big thing. Everybody's so helped because the system is not adequate to what the, the, my perception. The system that is in place and all the reified institutions in a massive systems way are not adequate to a good outcome in terms of transformations that have taken place on a comprehensive level on this planet. Well, it's obviously wrong because yeah, if, well, if, you're, wrong. if you're trading and speculating on the length of a prison sentence, then that means the oh, industry okay. that you're building up is full prisons. And right, that's say, why we got a big university developing right, over here to right. handle all that. But that's also why common law and the wisdom throughout the ages has all the built-in remedies for that not to happen. And for that not to happen well, I would disagree is human with beings standing up and saying it shouldn't happen. Well, I would disagree that there's any period in history that could be relevant to what we're going through now. Oh, I think there's it's, no, I, I think it, it's, it's, it's always it's, been unjust. You had slavery, you had women say no vote, you had all the kind of... And people was always few, pull out of it and realize no, they it's don't not a pull, good way. Well, they do pull out. Of it, but they and they get, get wealthy when they pull out of it. Well, the society, they do. Like in Haiti and Guadeloupe. Yeah, but the system has always been they were most, unjust. But listen to me, Harold. Okay. Why, when there is justice, is there most prosperity? If well, we're, I don't, if we're well, working there, towards prosperity, we need justice. You can't have it. I'll tell you no, why. No, but in systems... I'll tell you why you can't have it. Because if two people don't trust each other mm -hmm. and they have a contract mm -hmm. with each other mm -hmm. and there's no recourse that they have to make sure that that contract is upheld, uh -huh. pretty soon people are just so suspicious of everybody else. Mm -hmm. I mean, even in Monsanto, I heard that when they were changing the seeds, they were, they were accusing seeds, yeah. of farmers mm -hmm. of stealing their seeds because it blew over. Monsanto would have this hotline where you could tattle on your neighbors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so that that, that, that yeah. breaks down that's the community. What begins, that's what's happening now. People are getting right. desperate. 
People are getting right. desperate. Their baby's starving. You right. see all of this. And that's what they want. And Roger said the system that's in place, and it's all finance. And it's all going finance capital. And you've got these people who are robbing a bank. So anyway, And they're g going to reduce everyone to essential so, slavery. So he's going to do a forensic analysis on Joe and Jay's indictment. He's going to find the Joe case. And Jay. Oh, oh, your in husband and from an earlier from indictment an earlier about marijuana. This is the third time Joe's this been busted a in knock, three a years. This is a knock warrant? Or, uh, always, and, uh, always it's yeah. been a no knock warrant. Yeah, okay. A, no, yeah. no, a knock warrant. Knock warrant, yeah, And right. the second time, no warrant. Yeah, no. An eight hours after the fact warrant. You know, everything is so profoundly... <coughs> Uh, Here comes Randall. Grand, Grand, Randy, Randy, come just in, come right in. Take a we'll mic. We're just, uh, Randy, just Maybe your, Josh this can is come Randy in and Corbett. widen the Just shot. sit down and put the mic. Just sit down. Don't change anything. Just okay. sit down. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Hello, get on. Randolph's Randall. come in. It's, we're 40 minutes into a 58-minute program. We've okay. been talking all about you. I was just you talking about the securitizing door. with the QCIP numbers. And this yeah. is Randolph Corbett. We did a pro we aired a program with yes, you. We Thanks did. for that yeah. program. Thanks for all the work. And the things you did with Paul in that three-hour thing is a piece of really good, important information with Roger. Yeah, 800 hits the last I checked. Wow. That's only three days. And on boring banking stuff? Yeah, well, it's not boring because I, know, I think I know, what's happening is relating to everybody. people are finally beginning to realize that it was a systematic criminal enterprise. Well, I... And it, it was placed, and, and it was taken step by step from the beginning to eliminate certain legal requirements. Yeah. Like the Glass-Steagall Act. Now, yeah, that got okay. done in. The Glass-Steagall Act simply says, I can't take your deposit and speculate it. When well, they when they removed the Glass-Steagall Act, that meant that they could take your bank deposits and do anything they wanted. Well, what them. they did, the Glass-Steagall, out of the depression, yeah. everything wanted to separate investment banks banking, from savings banks. Take that risk. It's dealing with risk yes. in the economic order and commercial banks, where you're dealing with things that there is not risk. Things mm -hmm. are very solid. But that dis that uh, that uh, dis uh, separating risk, turning the whole market into into venture. Yes. And risk. Yes. Taking risk, and it's all in the private sector. There's no adequate way of dealing with uh, the elements of risk, which is a big systems thing inherent in the economic order, in some sort of a way that could have assurance for the masses of the people to have a means of having income. Uh, to clear the market, if for nothing else. We don't have a system it's that gambling. does that because we have it all concentrated wouldn't, in high venture and they're taking everything. Wouldn't risk mm -hmm. be gambling? No, yeah. gambling, no, there's inherent risk. Uh, the first use of, uh, and Mr. Roger mm -hmm. referred to derivatives. I was having to talk about swaps yeah. and derivatives. Yes. And the okay. swaps and derivatives is a thing. I wish I could close that door, maybe. we got kids. Well, me, no, 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 you uh, say, that's all right. Okay, Those but are children celebrating Christmas in okay, the other but studios, so really let it come. Yeah. But the, but the, but the, uh, the swaps and Thanks, derivatives uh, are, are, are what the, that's a reinsuring. It's a reassuring system against calamitous loss. The first happened was in Periclean Greece against the uh, olive trades. But now you have a reinsuring uh, reinsuring ability where you can get all those 30 notes that are mm -hmm. taken from one and get it in there. And then that gets, and if you had a, ba if you had a, if you're an investment banker and you make a contract and you don't mm -hmm. have a derivatives clause to deal with things like currency fluctuation I'll or prove, other un unforeseen I'll things, prove to you, you would get sued for malpractice. But, okay, but, but the thing gambling. was, it was, that's where it was designed that way. Let me, let, Harold, let me tell you. Okay. Let's say we take the the issue of the credit default swaps. Okay? Yeah, dude, now, it's okay. huge. Yeah. Now, what, what was understood is mm -hmm. that normally if I insure your car, Mm -hmm. I can only insure your car as the owner. Yeah, okay? right. Yeah, so right. when they create the credit default swaps, that uh -huh. meant you, you, and I can all uh, place insurance on your car, which before no one but you. But the derivatives and swaps are reinsurance. Okay, but, it's it's not the but understand industry. what the re you understand? We need yes. to have that in the no, in but the you can, but you miss, what you're missing is okay. that. It was intended so that when I over leveraged myself yeah, okay, and couldn't right, pay right. for it, mm -hmm. I would then go to the government to pay for it. Well, it was part of the plan. Well, they knew they didn't have the money to pay off all those bets. They were they were over bets. eight. Bets. Yes. Right. It's gambling. The, right. But they, yes. it was, yes. but they yes. knew. Yes. But they knew. Yeah, but living, me, breathing is no, no, no. But There's always but risk involved. How, but how, but how, is, they expected. They expected to fall. No, That's they what it was. No, they designed it to fall. 
Okay. It to, okay. They designed it to fall, so therefore the insurance would be paid well, off. That could have and been they it. made the bet. They made the money off the fees, mm -hmm. and when they couldn't bet, couldn't pay them, mm -hmm. they then went to the government and said, and "You can give me a billion dollars." Yes, but Six the thing was, they already knew that they couldn't get, they couldn't pay them, and they already knew that the government was going to step in. Okay. So there was no risk yeah, for them. There, that no, was but, part of the plan okay. to defraud the public. Well, it, as it worked out, but, it was. It not, worked not out. as it worked out. How it if worked out just the way they wanted it. Well, if they were able because to creatively, because they got a lot of money to influence the politicians to get rid of Glass-Steagall. Yes. It's part of a larger but systemic thing to get out of the very problem Carol, that came out of uh, recognition of what caused the Great Depression in the 30s. And it's going to rectify as people wake up. The policemen, well, if they, real, they realize that they're busting people and they're not feeling good about it. Mm. They well, realize that, that's an it could be their brother, sister, Randolph father. told us down in Florida, you got judges saying, they're not listening to all this fine talk about justice and justice. No, they're just saying, boom, out. Yeah. Boom, out. That Don't tell me your fine line. points. And, and, and they're all justice. linked into one thing. Yes. And it's a very dangerous time because the people haven't got very much clout to say anything about how it ought to be different than what is it's, being real. And people are making a lot of money. Okay, but the thing is that the people made a lot of money and their assumptions and their expenditures were on the fact that this was going to continue. Mm. It is now stopping. People are now beginning to go to the point where they're taking the money that you use to hammer us down and taking it out of your hands. Put so it in a commercial bank or no, something, or a savings and loan or something? Put it in savings and yeah. loans. And, and Jimmy Stewart. What little they have. Yes, yes. Yeah. There's okay. not much but, around. But the power that they mm. had was derived from the fact that we believed in them. Yeah. That was the key People still we do. Believe. They think you have a moral responsibility to these people if, who've if, stolen from you. Okay, but if you have a legal debt. Is that debt, true? Or is that actually? Debt, if you have a legal debt, yes. They yes. A, a I want to prove it's gambling okay. in a simple sentence. But mm. You know, yes, you have a legal responsibility, a moral, I should say, responsibility. But if I know that you uh, rigged this to defraud me, I don't any longer have that moral, legal responsibility to pay you when I know you rigged it to, d to defraud me. Well, fraud is a strong word, like no, we've no, been saying. There's no, there's no doubt about it, Howard. There's, there's no, no doubt about it. There's no doubt about it. About uh, it. Everyone across why, the, the why? federal government, the state government, the attorney generals, even the local governments are now calling You told me in I'm our calling program. calling it fraud? Yes. No, you told me in a program that there's a thing, 50, uh, what's 50 it? attorney generals. No, wait, 50 attorney, attorney generals, generals from all the states except yes. possibly for New York. New York's yeah. but they, And they put $25 billion, and what's her name from the FDIC, uh, Baird, Sheila mm -hmm. Baird, said if to rectify the situation caused by the banks mm -hmm. who did this and did it, it would be trillions of dollars, and they proposed $22 billion to try and cover it all, and thank God a con attorney general from the state of New York opted out of that. Right. But what the, about the other 48 okay, uh, the, state point, representatives who represent the system and they're all backing each other and they're talking, they it know each other. It hasn't gone anywhere because of the outcry. Yeah, but what outcry? From the people. Well, there's not many, much. What outcry? Where do you, do, you see it on, do you see it on the Daily News? Do you see it on NBC you News? Do you see it in the New York Times? News? Do you see it in the Wall Street? I'm, okay, I'm, where I'm is outcrying. The outcry? I'm outcrying. Where is the outcry? Me, me, I'm outcrying. No, but that's... on the internet you'll see plenty of stories. What about all those people that the judge down there in Florida is just saying, I don't want to hear all your bullshit, mm -hmm. your baloney. Mm -hmm. Boom, you're out. Okay. And they get thrown out. And the he's women got, cry and the babies are in liability. the street. And that's what's going on. And he's we got can liability. see yes. every day. Where do you see this opposition because that's of, manifesting example, itself effectively? Do you see example, Mr. Obama listen, talking about it? Listen, do you see Mr. Follow, Geithner who should be indicted? In Florida. There was a march against the very judges. Over 10,000 people marched in, my, in Miami, Florida, Tallahassee to demand justice. It wasn't done before. It is happening now. Was that part of Occupy Wall Street? No. no, no you see no. it. You want to see it different. You want to see it. You don't like they're going. Uh, okay, okay but my, my whole point is with Occupy Wall Street yeah. that they raised the issue. But the thing is, I haven't seen them make any plans as to what we should do to. to well, uh, they're trying to avoid the Occupy Wall Street, and it's Occupy World. Yes, it should yes. be Occupy system. It should be Occupy the whole system, mm -hmm. not one aspect of it. No, the no, whole no, system. No, it calls for the whole system to, to understand altered. there's something blowing in the wind big time that's not being addressed largely by the intellectuals. Yes. And one of the things is the financial system is out the of sync with what the future requires. The intellectuals they haven't have provided an alternative. Yeah, but, but see, the intellectuals the haven't been busted. And if they the are, they have the money and they get a lawyer and they never see it. 
intellectuals to create uh, programs or put the to voice keep them busy. to to to, to, to They've been co-opted. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. They, they, all right, they've they been use, corrupted. They use, they they've been Harvard corrupted. And Congress yeah. And all of so these where are you yeah. saying this great response is From happening? The people. It's what not, people? Where? Where is, is it? Where is it reported? Spend the night in the police station. No, no. Court. Really? No, no, no. No, seriously. Yes. Where do you see effective challenging at effective system levels within the court, Supreme Court, uh, Citizens United, anything else that might be coming that's questioning it in an effective way other than the normal political thing? Is it going to be a Republican, a Democrat, and everybody still meeting at so the are you, hall? Okay. Are you agreeing well, Eminem is useless? 17, no, not at all, but it's so, banks, it's so small. 17 it's just a few indicted. little things. It's small because they're not really standing behind their no, producers. But, but they don't, it, you know, free speech. indicted by the Justice Department for fraud. 17 banks, all the major banks that you can name have now been indicted by the Justice Department for fraud. Oh, did you, okay, is that a fact? That's now, can you, fact. if you can got that chapter you, and verse, I can bring it to you. What? I can bring it to you. Send me links. Send me boxes. links. Okay. Fill me in. Let I me will, know whether there's some that. hope rather than bowing down to the idea we owe the banks the money, we've got to pay them just like we did. And that's the attitude of 99.999% of the people. Because the people finally waited because they, the they, five years ago. None of us understood what was happening. Most right. of us were saying, oh, right. these people didn't most, pay their, mor their most, mortgage. Yes, they'll okay, blame the people. Now, mo most people are saying they recognize that it was a systematic you, fraud. No, not most people. Most people still accept the old I system. I don't agree. No, I don't they agree. Accept the, they don't accept agree. the power of the slave master. No, I don't they agree. They do as far agree. as the they're, system. They're questioning the idea No, they might master. accept it, but they, they, still accept it, they still accept it and are forced to. You have choice. You may go along until there's an alternative. Well, that's the way. We are creating the alternative. Who is we? We the people. We we right people. here are creating an alternative. Well, I'm okay. I'm saying finally yeah. we recognize for Ten years ago, did you recognize How this? far out do you go with this thing? If you're talking systems, you know, a lot of people are, you got a great issue, yeah. right? You got yeah. fraud, you got this, you got that, <laughs> you got this, all that. <laughs> no, no a, a, a thing to focus on. <laughs> yeah. But the <laughs> Occupy Wall Street, and I lived long enough, thank God, to see something happening yeah. massive. Yes. Massive. Yes. Not a little one thing, one little change of a law or something, right. but a massive change. There's something, you have to they almost start thinking speciation. We're coming to the end of 200,000 years of an unjust system. We're coming to the thing. The weapons of species lethal. They don't have a vision of liberating the people and the ecology that's now available to us. We're at a moment about to leave the womb of 200,000 years of evolution. We're coming into a new relationship in the universe. Mm -hmm. Punctuated equilibrium. Nobody's talking about that. They're all putting it in the normal political context. We got to have a vision of a massive liberation that's going to bring us into an entirely new relationship henceforth if we make it and get liberated. I saw the light bulb go on with the policeman once he realized his retirement was Well, that's you. Away. That's an individual. Just let me, but if, but if, you, if you he change. Keeps, you're different from the from you were two weeks ago when we started talking about this fraud. You yourself have learned things that you did not know before. And, Isn't that true? Yeah, you, learning from you guys. Okay, but if before that, none of us knew each other. Right. But it takes one to Yay, teach Josh one. Walensky mm -hmm. for introducing you know? us yeah. and bringing us together. It takes one to teach one. Yeah. And you see that every day that now in the last couple of weeks, we're all talking to people that we... Are well, you're talking time. about one issue. But listen, fraud, you're talking about one is issue. I go into the holds a society. That, no, Randy, what about that Randy, thing? I, I go into the up. bank and yeah. I give them stuff. They all want to know. All People time, working listen, in the every bank want to know. I go to the bank, okay? All the tellers go, Randy, come here. What's happening? Yeah, right. Right, right. now. Right now. I was right. down there today. And the other thing was that we were started talking about fracking. None of them knew about it. I told them to go online oh, to wow. join the uh, one million letters to Governor Cuomo. No fracking. Yeah. Now when I go in the bank, the guys go, so, hey, listen, I went to the website. See, Gasland, it was on HBO last night, Gasland. The more you put your match next to the water and it goes up in the yeah, air for the stuff. I have a copy. Yeah, I, I well, have yeah, but that's copy. one issue, issue. What I'm talking about. Did you hear the I other agree. thing I just said? Yeah. We're not talking about one law here, one law. There. We're talking about speciation. We're coming to the end of the human experience. They got these drones going and they're reifying the institutions. They can go out and kill people without even having any threat. See, but Do you understand that, that, things in those it. terms? That's, okay, but that's, that's so that, small, that, the fracking. You're getting as upset part, as the that, policeman. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's part of Rosenberg, when, where when, are you now when, that when, I need when, you? For yeah. example, when you say, oh, they got these drones. Harold, think back. 
They had model planes all before. This no, is no, no new technology. No, no. That it can go further. It's all a matter it's of technology. That it, that it's it all. It, okay, I suggest. Okay. I suggest it's all a matter of an extended ca uh, a species that's got started 3.8 billion years yes. ago. It began. Yes. We have an evolutionary it's process. But a model We've gone plane. to 200,000 years. We've been here as a species. We're coming to the end of that period. The weapons that, are the weapons. Extended yes. consciousness yes. are able to wipe out conscious evolution in this universe. Okay. That's new, only since about 1970. So you believe Okay, we're so only that process, realpolitik, the strong will rule over the weak, will enslave the black people, will enslave well, the women, we're the all only, of that. But, but, we well, think we're coming to the end of this, it, and we have a capability of liberating what, everybody. Strong? What What is strong, Harold? You're saying the strong. What makes one strong? What is, makes is, is Mao's in? Ma yes, absolutely, but, it's realpolitik. Brain the, power. The no, 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 it's realpolitik. All it's things, still real politics. All species that are here today we're the had top to have the strength prim. enough to survive, even to overcome those that were supposed Yeah, but don't you don't seem to want to get out of this thing. You don't see it. And we have the it's a moment of qualitative leaving the womb. Okay. We're in the womb in just we're coming into a new relationship in the universe. If you don't and see us don't, next week, it's and, because we've speciated. Uh, no, <laughs> but, no but, don't joke. Don't listen, joke. Listen, where do you think all these uprisings yeah. around the world, the people are simply saying? What you have created, well, what do you think? We don't want. Okay, and we have the capa we, don't want we have the create. capability, oh, technological really augmentation, that's really the technological that's really augmentation. Really don't want what Techn you created. No, that's what you're saying. Technological. We have the ability to liberate humanity, all and the ecology. Okay. We have that. That's new but since think, 70. Think of it this way. And we don't have any institutional think, structure think, raising the issue. Nobody raised the all the news finding the enemy. We have the ability to raise the conscious level of those who are in control. Who they themselves brought into the past. That's the so ultimate pattern. They never were in a situation where. Yeah, but you're still said, going you enemy. You're still going Rosenberg. You're still you, going. You you're trying to find that. the. It's the news. You see it in the news all day. What I'm talking about is you got to have something to be liberating in a way that never has been. And all the why people. Why does it have to be so liberating because that's never it been, is, been before? Because that's what why punctuated it. Why can't what, people just simply say, because, listen, I do not want to work nine to five. Okay. I want to work th th 30 hours a week. I want to have three days off instead of a, well, two days. How do, why do, no, that, do, I, do I have to have you, a brand new car well, every three Well, every now you're three, going into a normal way of well, talking well, political. It, it, you well, have to not, go beyond it's political. political it's economic, it is. It's and economic it, economic of course it's the, the politics. Okay. So oh, it's earthlink.net. If I'm earth buying link. a new car dot. every year, mm. what earth does that say? Okay, well, you're just saying that. Well, all right, I just say it's all you got to get. You got to get. It is not your normal time. It is not. It is liberation. I think it is. And you need to have an economic system. Get out of here. No. Take your guns and go. Take yeah. your millions and go. We don't want your oil. We don't want you polluting our water. We don't want They're you still doing fire. it. They're still doing it. All we, they have economic they, challenged? they have never been challenged before. No, but you've got to challenge them in a way that can be liberating of the, you can't, of the whole thing and the ecology. Incredible cornucopia of what we can do. And we have to make that transformation. It has to be something that can include them as well, it, but it, they it, cannot it, rule it. it is, but isn't that what I'm just to, simply saying that no. I was saying that we well, do not want your yacht, your plane, your car. <coughs> we want you to be able to have a normal Bucky life with the, with the, without propelling you constantly to try to generate more money. Okay. We want you to there are a couple of problems that have to be. Itself. We're out of time. That's one of the problems. We're running out of time in this uh, in this womb like existence we have and everything. Uh, good to see you, it's Randy, and always to you, my dove. Uh, All the best to Joe, of course, and everything. Yeah. Keep the fight, no, it's and like it's a coming family. to a time. Yeah, it really and is. thank you for call, uh, thank you for you. It's our yeah, pleasure. Thank you for no, it's okay. I just wish you, you got to get to another level. Got to get to another. Learning. Short of spiritual. No, we, we, we are evolving, and we are learning as we go. Mm. This has not been done before, so we need to learn 